Hello everybody and welcome back to Supertech Services. We got another quick video for you today. I'm going to show you guys how to network a fiery graphics processor using the main panel. Basically, instead of uh, using the regular port, um, we're actually going to use the graphics processor fiery here that I'm pointing to right here. Uh, at the top there is the regular standard point. Now, if you don't have a graphics processor, you probably don't need this. This is for special customers um, that require um, their images to be a little better quality. So I just want to go ahead and go over that right now on how uh, that gets networked. Now, there's two ways to do this using a crossover cable. I shown this in my previous video on Fireys, but um, in this uh, video, we're actually going to use two separate Ethernet cables. One, uh, both connected to your switch or your router and what that's going to do is allow us to have two different IP addresses so basically you're going to get two cables that go back to your switch or router you're going to plug one into the machine like I'm doing here and then run into the Fiery at the very bottom and once again uh, if you need to know how to install the Fiery uh, please view my previous video and I'll look into that so once your two cables are installed just go ahead and reboot the copier and at the very top there you'll see a menu item that said info you press that and now what we're gonna do is just set up the we're gonna run the setup to get this thing connected to the network so under run setup you're just gonna hit that button there and then at the bottom right hand side go ahead and click OK and then now it's gonna say disconnected so what you're gonna do is just wait a minute until it reconnects I'll close out the main menu here in a second and I'll show you uh, just give it a second to come back at the top there you can see that there's nothing there and it'll, it'll say turn on the controller so what you want to do is just wait it'll reconnect and then the menu will pop up and then we'll be able to uh, continue the setup now there's a lot of options inside of a fire so I'm not gonna go through everything today I'm just gonna go over the part on how to get it connected um, to the network using auto um, IP address you can also set a manual one as well alright so now we're in the setup what you want to do is just put the password which is fiery.1 and hit enter okay now we're in the setup here so you have server setup network setup and printer setup so we're just going to hit network setup. You have port setup, protocol setup, and service setup. And I'm just checking to see if there's any more options. It doesn't look like there's any. Let's just go to port setup. You have Ethernet, USB. I'm going to click Ethernet. You have Internet speed and MAC address filtering. So I'm just backing out of there because there's nothing there that I like. Let's go into protocol setting. And I see what I want, which is IP uh, version 4 and then go ahead and click on Ethernet setup enable auto IP yes now you would select no here if you want manual but I want it automatically set up enable uh, uh, gateway automatically yes and obtain IP for engine yes as well I want a um, separate IP so that now that everything's enabled I'm gonna get my DNS address automatically as well you can click no or yes and then um, what you want to do is hit enter enter the name you want or just use the generic name there and hit enter I'm just uh, going down here to see if there's anything else I like doesn't really look like it so we're gonna exit uh, everything just keep pressing exit and then exit network setup save changes yes and then exit the setup again I'm just uh, selecting here I don't don't worry about this menu alright now that I exited the setup the fire is going to reboot now this is gonna reboot <laughs> reboot this is gonna take a little bit of time so just sit here um, and wait it'll say the same thing uh, the menu will go blank and then it'll say turn on the controller you're gonna have to give it about a minute or so maybe two minutes and then it will reconnect and then we will print out our IP address and I'll show you guys what that is now like I said this is going to be giving us two IP addresses because of the fact we're not using the crossover cable so this is cool so you can have somebody print to the main copier and you can have other people printing to the fiery uh, graphics processor which is really cool 
I'm just showing you the main IP address of the copier here and then I'm going to show you how the Fiery is actually has a different IP address and like I said you would have this in a situation where you have a lot of customers printing and maybe they're bogging down the machine and you can actually split it up it's almost like you have two machines in one it's a really good uh, option to have now these fires are pretty expensive but we get them used off eBay for pretty cheap alright you see now it's saying connecting to a controller so that's good and once the info is back you can see there we go so now it's back idle which is exactly what you want now you hit menu, print pages, configuration, and it's going to send the configuration page uh, to the copier. You just got to give this, uh, the fireys do work kind of slow, so you just give it, give it some time, it will print. And once the configuration page prints, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. And it has a boatload of options on there. Uh, maybe I'll get into that in another video, but like I said, I'm just going to just show you what the page looks like and then you can um, add the printer accordingly now I'm just waiting for the page to print and there we go so I just want to show you uh, the IP address under right there so it's 229 so we have a different address than the main copier which is 227 so I will be able to print to both addresses one's gonna print to the fiery one will print to the main and I can run all kinds of things through there. I'm just going to show you the paper now so you can kind of see all the info that's inside of the Fiery server, setup, server in, um, input, network setup. You can see all the options you have on the Fiery, which is really cool. Try to focus in here. Right, you got your DNS setup, your wins, your security, everything that you would want. IPv6 if you want that LPD obviously and then there's a second page on the back which is the uh, fiery server configuration printer setup uh, installable options postscript setup PCL setup And that's about it. Now I'm going to swing over and just show you guys what the web page looks like, the splash page. I'll be right back. All right, so now just walk over to your computer and type in the IP address at the top of the uh, Fiery, and then you'll be brought to the splash page. It's pretty simple, pretty generic. It just gives you just all the options like um, your downloads, your mailbox, your documents. And then at the very last tab there, we have the configure button. So pretty much you can do all the same configuring that I just did over the uh, the main panel. Uh, you can do through the web, which is really cool. It's probably a lot easier to do, um, but sometimes you might not have access to the web uh, right away because it may not be bound uh, to the Internet. So I'm just showing you uh, the configure tab here. You would just hit that launch configure button if you want to uh, configure it. Since mine's already configured, I'm not going to do that here. The password would be the same, capital F Fiery.1. And like I said, I was just going through everything to show you guys what the splash page looks like. Um, you can do with this uh, as you wish. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. I want to appreciate uh, all you guys for watching the videos. We really appreciate everything. Please like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.